Welcome back everybody, my name is Eltamar and we are going to be continuing our let's play of Divinity Original Sin Where we left off last time, we were uh, just exploring around town I just kind of looked around a tiny bit, I didn't do any conversations or anything But I found some more people that I want to talk to Or at least want to show you where they are And I also have an idea of how to solve the uh, uh, That room, the secret treasure room Oh, I didn't mean to try and enter the room. I'm just looking around. There's a person at one point in time. Where is he? Wasn't Geisen. There's a, a merchant around here that's got some good stuff. He was here anyways. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. Nerd. I lost him for a second there. I'm gonna sheath my weapons. Why, hello there. Hey, you stranger, over here. You look like you could use a leg up against the competition, isn't that so? Who are you exactly? Nothing more than an humble trader, my lord. There's always plenty to go around after the raising of a village. I collect a bit of it and bring it to the market. Shinebrium's awfully valuable after all. No reason wears this caliber ought to rot in some coffer. Well, let's see what you got. So, Tenebrium weapons is what we want to look at, but it doesn't look like he has anything good this time, although. That might be. It's ex <laughs> it's exactly the same as the hammer we're using, except it is a scythe and it does poison instead of burning, which is kind of sad. I was kind of hoping for something slightly better, but it would appear that he doesn't have anything particularly good. A little bit of a bummer. I guess that's going to be it then. I was kind of hoping he'd have something more, but we will. Uh, Buy that. We will look into that more later. There is a couple more things I want to do before we do anything else. There's a couple things that need to be done first. First of all, we're going down to the basement again. I think I have an idea of how to do this. I don't even know why I didn't think of this. I noticed this window earlier, but I didn't think anything of it. And there's a reason why we should look into that window, because we can just go... Boop. And then we can just go... Boop. And then we can take all the stuff. But there are Tenebrium weapons, but they're not really good. They're not magical or anything. Regardless, we'll take it all. And sell it. What's into the deep? It's not worth anything. Okay. And a chest. Can't forget the chest. It has some stuff in it that we can identify and determine if it's any good or not. And it could be. Who knows how good it will be. We're also going to... We're going to lob our pyramid back into the other room. And then we're going to go... Boop! And then we're going to... Get people out of the way and retrieve it back to our inventory. Very important that we don't leave our pyramid behind. It helps with situations exactly like this one. So, let's leave. We got that secret room of treasure. I thought we didn't get any of the sweet gold that was lying around there. I'm not going to tell anybody about that back alley guy because I want to see if he uh, will do anything else for us. I also do know something we have to do. We have to go to the mill. There's a reason we cho we got that barley earlier. Who has it? I don't really remember. Was it you? You do not have the barley. Do you have the barley? Okay, who has the barley? That's a fanny blossom. That's definitely not barley. That's an empty bottle. That's not it either. What do these pouches have in them? Nothing and nothing. Sack of barley. That's what we're looking for. Okay, so we're going to go inside here. And we are going to lob our bag into there, which gives us grist, I guess. I'm not entirely certain what that's for, but I was told to do that by somebody. So, that's what I am going to do. Now we're going to go back and talk to the bartender, because I do know that there's a side quest there that I didn't pick up yet. Because I wanted to see what was in that treasure room. I only know that there's a side quest there. Because I, I, that was one of the guys I accidentally talked to again. And determined that uh, 
there was another side quest to do. By order of the All Mother, huge discounts on magic baubles. On magic baubles. Where did the bartender go? Hey, bartender. Oh, there you are, Herschel. My friend Richard. Herschel, that chest was trapped. You nearly killed me. What? You opened the chest and you survived? That is, you must have found the key. No, excellent. I don't know a thing about a trap, but you're quite fine, I see. We well, might have done the same in his shoes. The events here in Hunter's Edge have driven him to the brink of sanity. One can hardly blame him for trying to eliminate an immaculate. That's true. The events in this village are... Yes, the events in the... Vi yeah, the events in the... How I pray for this waking nightmare to end. So you're a purveyor of whiskey, are you? That I am, but I tell you I never served a lot... In Quite like these Goliaths. They drink like elephants and pay like, well, they don't pay at all. Then again, I can't say I mind this little arrangement too terribly. The happier they are, the longer I evade the rack and the screw. Each glass brings us closer to the last of the whiskey, though. My bowels shrink when I think what'll happen if we reach the bottom of the last barrel. We've already exhausted the tavern supply, but I've been pilfering from my old buddy Glenn's stores. I doubt I'll mind, seeing as he is one of the first the orcs sunk their claws into. Now that was a man dedicated to fine liqueur. Or liquor. Knew all there was to know about distilling whiskey. He did. Ah, what I'd give for a bear of Glenn's good stuff right now. Those orcs wouldn't know what hit him. I'll take Until my leave. That sounds like a side quest. Let's go find Glenn's house and uh, maybe borrow some of this great whiskey. I think this is Glenn's house, or that's the mill. This is the. This is Glenn's house. What am I doing? I'm an idiot. That's what I'm doing, or what I am. I guess so is more. Better. Also, uh, I don't know what to do with this armory key. Now, this is Glenn's house, so it must be in the basement. Did we grab the whiskey? Those are empty bottles. What's a pot still? I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Maybe I'm supposed to make whiskey. Let's check out the Art of Whiskey book. Increase mix with water and it'll be your rich man wart. Increase the wart's alcohol content, boy a pot still, and leave you a lovely spirit. Okay. Do I just put the barley in there? Do I just hit it? I need water. Where do I get water from? <laughs> I don't actually know where I get water. Oh, that's an air resistance potion. Um, maybe it's... I got rid of most of my ingredients. In retrospect, that might have been a bad idea. If I were some water, where would I be? Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out how to get some water so I can make this into whiskey and I will be right back. Really quick jump cut here. So I did find a barrel and uh, to get water you just dip it in the well. And then you mix the two together. I did some experimenting to figure out how this worked. So now we're going to have wort. Alright, I'm going to jump cut back to the basement with the whiskey stuff. And we are back. I think it's time to make some whiskey. Let's try it out. We're making it into a spirit. I have no idea if this is going to be any good, but we're going to go give it to well, the bartender anyways. Well, we've got anyways. spirit, but it won't be any good unless we can twist time forward a decade or two. Who do we know who might be able to bend the rules of time ever so slightly? Well, I mean, we could go to... I have an idea. Let's go talk to the Weaver of Fate or whatever her name is. That might work out, hopefully. Oh, the imps are all coming to be my friend again. No. Go. Go away. No. Alright, let's talk to the Weaver of Time. Maybe she can help. Um. Nope. Her. Do you? 
have the ability? Neither of those people have the ability. Maybe Zigzags does. Where's Zigzags? Where is my goblin friend? The choice, friend. The choice. That's you have to speak to the statue before we know what you'll find through the portal. Oh, I have another statue choice. I should do that shortly too. But first, I gotta find my friend. Where is he? Oh, he's hidden behind the statue. I was like, I think he's the one that told us to use the statue. So. Let's get his opinion on time travel. Alright, fine, I'll choose an elemental first. We're going with, uh, air. Yes. Alright, where's the air portal? That is not it. That is not it. That is... The Hall of Wind. We might as well jump into the other ones and see if we can buy some spells this too. This is positively brimming with the surge of storm and lightning. As good a place as any for an air elemental to set up shop. Well, let's go see if the air elemental has some things he wants to sell us. Like some sweet spells. Dear Guardians, how I rejoice at the sight of your growth both in power and in prowess, and yet I cannot help but wonder, will it ever be enough? Will you craft yourselves once more into the warriors you were? Oh, in the end, you are like infants still, infants that would perish with a broken whale, had they not their mother's milk to suckle. But you always were like children, weren't you? As are we all in the eyes of the gods, and yet they say an impossible or set an impossible task before you, and then blamed you when you failed. How foolish even the divines can be, how lacking in compassion. You know what? I do feel like a child. Being kept in the dark about so many things. La -di -la -la -di -la -la oh hello, forgive me, but you startled me. I guess my head was up in the clouds. <laughs> I'd like you to train me in air magic. Ah, uh, yes. Snort that spaghetti. Oh, pardon, pardon. So, yes, you'd like to l learn to gust with the best of them. Have a look. I would like to learn to gust with the best of them. Alright, so chain lightning. That sounds pretty, uh... Sounds pretty good. So, why don't we grab a chain lightning? And then we will also grab an... Maybe Storm, that sounds kind of neat. And that's it. Alright. Uh, we have some junk to sell, right? Like that robe. No, uh, that robe is actually not too bad. Like that spear and some paintings. I don't want to spend any of my own money if I can help it. Although, it doesn't look like we'll have a choice. Guess we're spending some money. That's okay. So we have some air spells now. Until we meet again. And we're going to quickly go check the other elemental places to... Actually, maybe I'll just do that in a quick jump cut so you guys don't have to watch. I'll just tell you if I buy any spells. Back in two seconds. Alright, so we teleported back after buying all my spells. I teleported back to the end of time. Now, Guardians, a moment I have of your time, if it pleases you, as exact has come to talk to us. I've been pondering and brooding, deliberating and deducting, and I have come to the conclusion I may well know who our true enemy is. Now, our foe is the Void, of course, the usurper of time and space, but more dangerous than... The great and all-consuming nothing are those who are bent on helping it here, or bent on helping it in Rivalon. I think he still lives, the one that set it all in motion, the one you've met here in the House of Guardians. You're talking about the demon that lurks in these halls, aren't you? Yes, him. It. The one who does not quite look like it used to. The one that whispered deceit and desire into Stardi's ears. He is a friend to the Void, and he seeks to give it dominion once and for all. That is who I think he is. Still, the only thing he does is talk, and words aren't very dangerous. As a writer, I'm going to have to disagree with you there, but even then, please don't be fooled, for he does much more than wag his tongue. What we see here, what was once your house, is most certainly real, but the demon, Astarte, they are, so I believe, were mere manifestations of their true selves. Oh, he dwells somewhere, he must. It is a creature of blood and bloodlust, of lies and stratagems. All this he has been plotting, of that I assure you. If our enemy has a heart, he is the one that makes it beat. That is my theory. Let that demon blood as much no, as don't. Wants. I don't. No, we stop. Fall stop. For its no, don't. We shouldn't get overconfident, though. There is more to that thing than meets the eye. <laughs> this source answer is okay, I already got that, thanks. I need you to age the time and stuff. Hey, there's an armory here. What's this? A smithy and an armory. That's what the doctor ordered. Ah, how good of you to drop by. She told me you had grown, you know, that simpleton of a girl. She felt the need to inform me of the fact that 
pathetic tinge of pride in her voice, as if I did not know, as if I hadn't been watching you like a vulture, a dying beast. I could have plucked out those dewy eyes of hers and thrown them into a frying pan like eggs. Have you ever seen sunny side ups staring back at you? I have. But enough of this small talk. Yes, I've been watching you, and my amusement has turned to aggravation. Yet still I yearn, yearn for the moment you finally become powerful enough to realize the true depths of your failures. When you do, I'll be there, drawing circles in the skies, watching, waiting, ready to pounce. He's getting more aggressive. We must be getting on his nerves. Excellent. I'll never look at a fried egg Let's take a look up here. Again, Looks like we have everything we need to do some smithing. Unfortunately, I don't really know anything about smithing. I know that we have the ability to do some crafting of our own and modifying our stuff. Maybe I'll look at a crafting guide at some point in time, just because I, I just have no idea. I know I can read the... Uh, we have all the, where is it, uh, L? Yes. All of the recipes, we have them here so we can make, you know, whatever. But, it's easier just to read a TLDR on it. Now, I've gone into here. Where is Zigzags? Stop going to new places. My friends, I see you found another star stone. Jolly good of you, but I haven't been exactly idle either. For I think I might have just figured out what they really are, these star stones. Yes, indeed. I believe they are basically specks of soul, or to be more precise, fragments of the second souls within you. If that is correct, then you are regathering the essence of the guardians you once were, and thereby reconstructing the home in this realm. Why that has given Madame Weaver something new to knit, I cannot be entirely certain, but I have a feeling the answers lie right around the corner. In the meantime, it might be a greater interest to you to hear about how the star stones came to be in the first place, for their origin might amaze you. I guess I'm going into here to learn about that. There's a seafaring the atmosphere seafaring about this place. To trade it. Guardians, oh Maybe guardians, I need treat. you. Heed my plea in these void-filled hours. The maelstrom is overpowering me. Our enemies are battering the fragile gates of time. The skies are darkening and the stars are being extinguished. You have to reach me. The star stones will pave the way. Find them, use them, empower them, and hurry. Please time make haste. Time is running out. Only star stone can stay the maelstrom now. An Alas, interdimensional traitor, you say? Than a leprechaun's pot of gold. Possibly awesome items, you say? Well, I like it. Quite a lot of items to look at, actually. Let's take a quick peek. That actually is a really nice staff, but we'll see what else he has lying around. That's a legendary axe, but no one uses one-handed weapons. Um, these are just rare daggers. I'm going to guess that they're... Yeah, they are worse than her dagger. As I expected, they... That one's not, though. Uh, this one has more speed. Doesn't give perception, doesn't give single handed, doesn't give lucky charm, doesn't give hit points. And doesn't give wind up toy. It doesn't do tenebrium damage, but it does fire damage. I think I'm gonna keep my other one though. It's just not quite as good. But still a very nice weapon, notwithstanding. Um strength constitution armor. I need to see his armor. Okay, let's take a look at for Lyra first, and then we'll just do each character in turn. So, Dex Armor, that's not Dex Armor. I mean, it should be Dex Armor, but it sucks for Dex characters. Um, strong? No. No. Alright, Rings. No. No. Possibly for my Warrior. Most definitely for my Warrior. Ooh, well that's kind of fancy. Sneaking, pickpocketing, high movement, lose a speed, get immunity to slowed. That's pretty awesome. But here's the rub with that. Requires strength ten. She has nowhere near strength ten to wear that. And intelligence bartering. I'm not as happy as I could be with the uh, weapon sele item selection in this place. Let's just take a look. I can probably gauge. Just from what I know of my characters, that's not going to be better. That might be. I'm going to check my other one first. And I'm going to check that belt. So. Until we meet again. You go talk to him. Is this better than your belt? It's vastly better than your belt, so we're going to buy that. And what about your rings? What are your rings? Movement telek- Okay, so he needs a new ring. Desperately. Let's get him this. Alright. I'll buy those two rings. What about this? No. And... That would appear to be it. And if any of you think, oh my god, you're running out of money because you're down to 250,000, don't even worry about it. We have whole sacks full of items still to sell. Literally. 
Um, so I'm going to give him this ring. It's better than that one by a lot. And I'm going to give him this. Now he's over a thousand hit points. Look at that. 1100 hit points. Mm. And more strength. Some damage and some crafting skill, which is worthless. But regardless, better than nothing. Now you... Is this better than yours? What do you have in your inventory? Yes, okay. So it gives an extra intelligence, gives willpower, bodybuilding. It is just straight up better. Alright. You have no money on you though, do you? Okay, so put that back. And then we're gonna go like this. There. Bye. Alright. Give you give him that strong. To be fair, his robe is pretty shit too, but I'll work on getting him a better one of those. Eventually. Alright, let's get out of here. We've done some trading, we've bought some fairly nifty items. We've increased our hit points a considerable amount. I also organized my bars a little bit better. So now I have strong regenerate I have restoration, which is just a one-time heal for a whole bunch. So if I ever need an emergency heal, there it is. Boom. Emergency healed. Uh, let's get out of here. I need to talk to Zixax, and I think we haven't done our stuff here for a while, so that's why he's running around like a madman. I think he might be done now, so I think that means that we can uh, talk to him about that spirit aging that we need to do. And that is our ultimate goal, currently. So let's go talk to Zixax. So I have a text. I felt my phone vibrate. Um, it's exact. I must age this fresh, these fresh, blech. It's exact. I must age this fresh spirit into fine whiskey before you ask it's for the good of Rivalon. Heavy is the hand that wields the rune. If you're very certain about the sort of meddling is strictly necessary, I suppose I could oblige. No, it won't be difficult. I'll simply pop your little mixture into a deep, dark basement and revisit it, shall we say, 30 years in the future. It's decided then. I'll be back before you can say homestead on the shelter plane at the end of time. Homestead on the shelter. Oh, he appeared. And he's drunk. What did I tell you? Now be careful with this libation, will you? I just had the tiniest sip myself, and I must say it's quite <laughs> potent. Take my leave. Thank you. Alright, back to town. Back to the town, I should say. Not our town. The Hunter's Edge. Our quest town. Let's go to the tavern. I'm also just quickly firing off a text. Why can't I go in? Oh, the door is probably closed. Also, it looks like orcs walk on their hands because they definitely look like they have hand feet. Do they all have hand feet? Well, that one does, yeah, I guess. They kind of do. They're, they sort of walk on hands. Interesting. I wonder if that makes them more powerful. <clears throat> Let's talk to Herschel. Got a batch of aged whiskey right here. What's more, I'll let you serve it to these orcs. Let's have a look. We'll all be Gertilda's great aunt Gretchen, single malt. 30 years. Since my old pal Glenn hid away his finest spirits for a rainy day. Ashamed to waste something so fine on. But something that's delectable ought to put them in a more gentle spirit. Alright. Well, gents, the goddess must be smiling upon you. Now we need to look into figuring out. I think I'm gonna give the armory key to Grutilda for now. By the way, uh, the armory key doesn't actually do anything for us, so. Let's discuss this lost armory key. You have it in your possession, you say. Prove it. We ought to give her the key. When she sees girls' failure, she'll destroy him, and it'll be one less orc to concern us. Yep. Manipulating the orcs into doing our dirty work for us. I believe this is one of our finer moments. It seems Lieutenant Gruel has been a lot, or has rather a lot to answer for. Pardon me, I must have a word with one of my boys. I'm just getting her to kill, like, everybody. I need more levels. I'm not close enough to a level yet. Although, she has an attribute point. Why have I not used it? Let's get some more dex, I think. Dex or speed? Do I get another... Action points, 10. Owned. There we go. That's exactly what I want. 
She does not. However, she has a trait, a talent, I should say. I'm actually going to give her glass cannon. I know it's a little risky. That's going to give her 530 vitality, but... But she doesn't get hit a whole lot. She will be able to shoot a ton more. And I'm actually going to start upping her marksman skill, because I know we haven't done that a whole lot yet. Or I guess we have a bit, but not enough, because I want her to be able to shoot barrages more often and stuff like that, so still a six turn cooldown, still a five turn cooldown on Ricochet. We'll find her some more stuff to shoot with, but I want her to have a lot of action points, so we're going to give her that. She is now going to be pretty much maxed out on action points every turn, which is going to be quite amazing. It also means she needs to stay way the hell back from combat and not get hit, because if she gets hit, she'll get vaporized. She only has 500 hit points, which is approximately half of what most of my other characters have. Actually, yeah, it's about half of what all my other characters have. So that's just something good we have to be aware of at this point in time now. So, let's go talk to Ratcatcher. That is our next little thing. Actually, I think we're out of time on this video. I think we are good on time. So, actually, I'm going to end the video here. In the next video, we're going to continue to find the people for the, um, the 100 and Hunter's Edge. And the War of Stones is what we have to do. So we're going to do those two quests probably in the next video. Like always, if you guys have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.